so let us start today's topic uh, management assessment centers basically this particular uh, management assessment center these uh, uh, assessment centers are the newer concept in human resource management and uh, these centers are used to uh, have uh, some time uh, for selection purpose some time for uh, uh, as an alternate option of uh, interview some time for uh, development of uh, you know uh, future managers that means when you are uh, going for succession planning then you need to understand that uh, whether candidate is having the skills and competencies to handle the next level of job and in this particular session i will try to cover up these management centers the uh, fundamentals uh activities the objectives and the processes so what exactly we need to look at assessment centers if you uh, in general understand uh, take care of simple evaluation whether a particular person is uh, capable of handling the managerial position the management uh, uh, holds management competency or not these assessment centers are basically uh, not relying on one particular event or activity rather series of events and series of activities assessment centers approach is used by employer to gather information about skills and competencies that simply means that if you need to understand whether a candidate is having a particular kind of skill or not or competencies this competencies may be uh, you know a potential to perform in future so if you want to understand whether a candidate is fit or eligible for the leadership role or for the next job or for the job which you are offering if you are conducting interview then uh, these assessment centers becomes very helpful however sometime you may say that when you conduct a series of events uh, instead of uh, one event say for example uh, rather to take uh, interview if you are conducting uh, say for example uh, role play in basket uh, activities and then group discussions then this series of events may be uh, sometime a costly affair but uh, nowadays uh, this is uh, adding uh, acquisition or hiring cost because you are going for management assessment centers and sometime you may not have those uh, management uh, assessment center facilities in your uh, company itself you go for some uh, professional groups or uh, the service or consultants so uh, this becomes very important to learn that why at all you want to uh, go for this uh, management assessment centers you know management assessment centers or you can say assessment centers the service is required when you have to handle large number of applicants because uh, this these centers can facilitate interview process can facilitate selection process can facilitate development process can facilitate the upgradation process and uh, this topic we are taking in continuation with the interview so i am just taking that uh, uh, management assessment centers as a uh, you know alternate option of interview process where you check the skills and competencies of candidates when you need to evaluate the multi level skill multi faceted talent or multi multi skills at the same time then these management assessment centers helps you a lot because while conducting one particular activity or event you can uh, judge from uh, different angles and you can evaluate a candidate from different point of view when you are going for understanding or identifying the potential of candidate then these centers becomes very helpful potential appraisal means whether a candidate 
is capable to perform in future or what is the potential to perform so um, likewise when you have success in planning that means you want to uh, you know prepare the future general manager the future dgm or the future manager so the subordinate candidate subordinate uh, manager or assistant manager that assistant manager can be evaluated at management assessment centers whether they have this capability competency skills to handle that general uh, manager position or not so, so in this helps you in uh, success and planning basically when you need to identify the hidden talent identification of talent simply means that you need to you know decipher you need to investigate into whether uh, some uh, candidate or some employee someone is having some hidden talent or not so this uh, management assessment centers were a sequence of activities the large number of activities during the same or parallel or in sequence are organized to understand things these are uh, some of the methods which are uh, very common nowadays uh, and uh, used by uh, some of the uh, you know global companies and some of the global companies do have their own management assessment centers and uh, they conduct these uh, activities or exercise in sequence so um, um, just to name like in basket exercise this may be uh, a kind of you know more in informal nature but it tests your decision making capacity it tests your domain knowledge it tests your you know um, you know leadership uh, skills it tests your you know group behavior how you behave in a group when you are uh, playing in tray exercise or in basket exercises role play is uh, very common as we uh, i think uh, your activities uh, slots might have observed these activities but in a different way but you are supposed to play a particular role of a you know professional position and all other candidates they are also assigned a particular role so how you behave in a particular role and how perfectly you handle and coordinate with other you know candidates in that role playing exercise so that defines that helps management or employer to understand your attitude basically when we talk about this uh, management assessment centers there is a very clear cut objective they want to understand about your knowledge skill and attitude so in brief we talk about ksa so knowledge skill and attitude they evaluate these things and these series of activities simultaneously or at the same time try to evaluate your knowledge skills and your attitude you know parallelly and that is why you know we we also go for some uh, group discussions these group discussions may be uh, sometime in form of informal more in informal nature and which uh, gives you freedom to explore your natural behavior and in that case your modified behavior you know the the aim is to break your modified behavior and to make you come in your original role original behavior so sometime this uh, group discussion or you know role play because when you are given a particular role obviously a task would be given to you and if you achieve that task to achieve that task there may be some pressure or you may be uh, under pressure for the time being and when you are under pressure then how beautifully how perfectly how efficiently you perform that role and the outcome 
gives about your knowledge, skill and your attitude. Maybe towards job, towards company, towards people. And uh, this uh, competency based interview. When we want to, you know, test a particular type of competency, then we can conduct uh, these competency based interviews in management assessment centers. These interviews are more in informal nature. Maybe that uh, sometime you are sitting with the candidate on uh, you know coffee table and you are just you know interacting. So while interacting with some candidate, you try to evaluate or test the competency of the person. Maybe that you discuss some uh, event or some uh, virtual or hypothetical situation. And uh, you try to evaluate whether the person is competent to understand the this, this situation, competent to handle the situation, and competent to overcome with the situation with knowledge and skill or not. So that is why this become very, uh, you know, uh, informal in nature. So it makes a difference from a traditional interview. And this helps in uh, you know, taking out the originality of a candidate. The projective technique, basically, when we, they talk about that, uh, you know, uh, project yourself, present yourself uh, on a particular uh, issue or topic or, uh, you know, uh, you may be asked to uh, prepare some, time, uh, some uh, very small project or uh, you may be asked to uh, work on a small task task of handling you know say for example they give you a task to evaluate other candidates and other candidate is also given task to evaluate you so you are basically you are working on a project so you 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 are, the projective technique is used to evaluate you know or rather mutual evaluation the case studies the case studies are sometime the uh, real cases, the real problems of uh, business houses or corporate groups, sometime these are virtual cases. So they give you a case where they, they put you in certain situation, they put you in uh, certain boundaries, certain limitations and certain conditions, under conditions. And then they try to check your skill or knowledge that how or what solution you try to give as a you know leader of the particular you know a leader or in a particular position so whether you are capable to understand case very well or not whether you are capable to uh, handle this case as as in uh, role of leader or not so these are uh, uh, some of the methods which are used in uh, management assessment centers. And it is not that only one method is used, basically the series of events or exercises. And they give cumulative collective result. So they are linked with each other. So these events are designed in such a way that you uh, get the proper assessment. Now the benefit, if you talk about the benefit of management assessment centers, you can understand that during series of the task, employer is, uh, you know, able to track the behavior of candidate and the consistency of the behavior. How consistent you are in behaving with others or what is your, you know, uh, overall uh, behavioral pattern. It also helps you in objective analysis of a behavior of a candidate. Now, what is objective analysis? When you interview someone, when you put someone into a task, when you uh, take written test, so that is subjective evaluation or subjective analysis of candidate, uh, candidate's knowledge or skill. Say, for example, uh, a particular candidate is uh, participating in, uh, you know, in basket exercise. So someone sitting, uh, from distant is simply observing and looking at your objective oriented 
approach and trying to analyze your overall you know behavior from objective point of view so it this the, these centers helps in this the different task and role playing you can uh, test the multi skill at the same time that means if you want to test multi level skills or multi skills so in different task you can you know you can easily test these uh, multi skills now when you prepare a particular uh, you know when you are ready for uh, running a management assessment center or when you are uh, planning to uh, go for management assessment centers uh, say for example you want to uh, plan for succession of any general manager and you are ready to go for uh, this so the very first thing that comes is uh, that create exercises and test now create exercises and test means now before you create exercises and test you must understand the purpose of going for this management assessment center purpose means there may be a purpose to interview a candidate there may be a purpose to select a candidate there may be a purpose to you know understand an employee who is already working and their behavior the purpose may be uh, to promote someone or to demote someone then you can evaluate whether the particular person is having a skill or a potential to perform or not when you are going for succession planning so your purpose must be very clear so when you have purpose very clear accordingly related to your in basket uh, exercises related to your role play related to your group discussion related to your psychometric analysis related to your uh, uh, say for example competency based uh, evaluation you need to create customize exercises and test for a particular lot of candidates maybe group of candidates or maybe group of employees or people so you need to develop create these exercises and test the second thing is that with respect to each exercise and test you need to make a prepare a timeline that means there there must be some series of exercises or test and for each test or exercise or series or even the gap between uh, two exercises or two particular uh, you know assessment processes you need to define the timeline and timeline must be common to everyone common for every uh, candidate or participant and they are supposed to follow these timelines because if you do not have timeline usually an uh, management assessment center you know exercise or uh, this uh, process last uh, one day or maximum two day maximum but usually in normal course there is a one day exercise where you have three four uh, series of exercises or series of events or series of task or uh, whatever you design for that and your timeline must be very clear now why is a timeline must be very clear for each task or event because uh, in some management assessment centers the result is uh, given then and there and in some assessment center exercises the you know result or output is given after that uh, management center you know session ends so maybe that uh, by the end of the day the all uh, events or all the task or all the you know series of events those uh, finishes and then after completion then the uh, examiner or evaluator are supposed to prepare that uh, sheets and uh, notes for everything and those sheets and notes will obviously give result after certain period of time so this become very important to have a timeline for each and every 
series of event or uh, task or activities that you define. And it is not only defining the timeline, you need to develop, you know, strong evaluation system for each, because there may be that uh, in basket exercise, you need to have some different evaluation system. For your group discussion, you may have uh, some different evaluation system, or maybe your evaluation system is based on your, you know, knowledge testing or skill testing or attitude testing. So you want to get the information about the candidate related to knowledge, skill, and attitude. So maybe that evaluation system for knowledge is different than you know, skill or different than uh, different uh, for, uh, say for example, attitude. So you need to develop this strong evaluation system, which can give, you know, uh, very close to accurate result or accurate result. Because ultimately, when uh, one event uh, may not be uh, giving you the sufficient information, then you are going for management uh, assessment centers. And obviously, establish the feedback procedure. It is not that you simply get output and result of a management assessment center, but you need to give feedback to the management, to the candidate. And yes, it may be that you give priority to uh, provide feedback or the result or the, the, the feedback to management, or you can uh, give feedback to uh, participant or candidates at later stage. But you need to establish a feedback system to your own system also, that if you conducted uh, in-basket exercise, so to what extent your in-basket exercise was successful in giving you the information or extracting information from candidate about the knowledge, skill, or attitude. So this is also uh, very important to understand. So the, this is, uh, you know, a very summarized form of your uh, uh, fundamental or basic concept of what we call uh, management assessment centers. And what we talk about, uh, you know, when we use uh, selecting a candidate or promoting a candidate, you know, many companies nowadays, they are uh, using these management assessment centers.